Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny Taken King video. Update 2.0 has dropped and it's finished downloading on my console, so I figured I'd give you guys a quick walkthrough of some of the changes, seeing as I've just booted up. So the very first thing you'll be greeted with is this screen here, 2.0.0 update. First up, it says attack and defense now contribute to your overall light, which is now displayed over your emblem. Your new ghost shell and class armor provide defense as well as other benefits. And obviously you can visit Bungie.net for more details. So if we quickly jump into the character screen, you can see how this has changed. I am still level 34, but this is now purely XP. And then over here, you can see I currently have 140 light. Down here, you'll see that intellect, discipline and strength all obviously work in notches. So for example here, I have tier one in my discipline. So that means that the cooldown is 55 seconds. Here, I also have tier one in my intellect and I also have tier one in strength. The intellect one, obviously you can see it takes five minutes and 14 seconds for my cooldown. Now obviously jumping over here, if I take a look at my ghost, you see that it also has a defense right now, plus it has a series of perks. I can obviously infuse it if I want to, so that I can make it more powerful, and if I do want to keep this ghost shell, I can do so. And obviously I can increase my intellect, my discipline, I can also have a spin metal sensor, if I want to go and search for spin metal, or I can have a spin metal extractor, which has a chance to find additional spin metal when looting engrams in the Cosmodrome. And then finally, cleansing ritual, generate additional glimmer when killing hype. So this will still be useful, I can infuse it, but at the moment it does obviously just have three defense. Moving over to my class item, you can see this also does have defense. Now class items will also have perks. This one in particular doesn't, but they will obviously in the future. And then jumping down here quickly, you can see the changes to the slot here. You've obviously got an emote slot. So when you do have some new emotes that come with the collection editions, you can obviously swap them out here. But for the time being, I still have this basic one here, but I can preview it. You can see here, I can preview it right in the middle and see what it looks like. So that is a quick change to the character screen. If I jump over here, you can see I have the quest screen. So obviously I have Path of the Gunslinger and Legend of the Hunter. There are obviously actual kind of quests now for your Gunslinger and for your Blade Dancer. So if you want to complete them, you can get some emblems for those. And obviously Legend of the Hunter. I have to go and speak to Cade 6 about my trials as a hunter, but I'll check that one out later. We do obviously have these 16 bounty slots and down here is now where you'll find all your reputations. If you jump to the inventory screen, you see obviously it's changed layout a little bit. Obviously you've got your mission stuff down here and things like that. And obviously we now have a slot for legendary marks. And then once the Taken King comes out, obviously these will no longer be in place. Then if we open up the director, the map has changed. This looks really nice now. This is obviously the tower is still in the center, but the reef is over on the left. So if you want to go there for Prison of Elders and that stuff, you can obviously go there. Moon is down here, Venus, Crucible is right up here in the corner. And obviously the Crucible preview is now active. So if you want to go and do Rift, that is on the far left hand side. Mayhem is not here till the 11th. So you've got to play Rift for a couple of days before then. But obviously this screen is also brand new. Really nice, really awesome. And then over there, obviously you've got Mars and you've also got your new strikes. The complete playlist isn't obviously here right now because there will be a heroic playlist and obviously your Nightfalls as well. But for the time being, you can do the Vanguard Legacy playlist, which does have the modifier whereby if you keep doing them consecutively, you do get a boost, which will obviously give you increased rewards and better rewards the longer you play it. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the tower and see some of the other changes. So let's take a look. First up to the left, Eris is no longer there. Hello, or not hello, because obviously she's not there. She's moved and we'll go and find her in a second. Uh, but first, let's jump over to the vault. This is the massive, massive new vault. You can see this is obviously the weapons page, which has been almost doubled. I don't actually need the second page right now, but obviously this is down here. And if I go to the armor page, you can see that I obviously have a load of space for armor as well. And actually some of the icons have been updated. That's a slightly different icon for the hood of the spawn. But either way, that is now my uh, armor page. And then I can go to the general page, which also has all this stuff. Now do bear in mind, I can actually now take all these out and I can dismantle these because the collections are also now in place. So I don't need to waste valuable space for all my shaders and all my emblems because I can now put them in the collections. While we're here, let's take a quick look at the Cryptarch, see if he's selling anything fancy. As you can see right now, he doesn't actually have anything for sale, but come the Taken King, he will sell legendary engrams. So we can obviously check them out from him there. And if we then run up here to the gunsmith, you can see he is also currently lacking stock because tomorrow he will have his changes in place. Tomorrow you'll be able to do his field test weapons and you'll be able to start leveling up the gunsmith rep. But for today, you can just look at it and then you can move on. If we then run down into the Vanguard Hall. If you turn right down here, this is where Eris is located now. She's actually set up shop. She's got a chest and some random urns and stuff. And if we actually speak to her, You'll see that her quests are currently no longer present because obviously the quest system with her is going to change but she now no longer has the rank 4 cap so you can obviously increase her rank to rank 5, rank 6 and whatnot and obviously increase that from there but for the time being you won't be able to do any bounces with her but when Taken King comes out killing bosses and things like that in Crotus and Raid will obviously give you reputation towards her level. 
let's pay a quick visit to Cade while we're here. You see obviously that I do actually have my quest, so this actually comes up right here, Legend of the Hunter. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, rubbish cloak, Cade, but either way, I can grab that now. And obviously then I can continue with my quest, Path of the Gunsling. I might as well pick that up because we'll go and do that later on. Now while I'm here, if we take a look to the right and the left, this is where you'll find your exotic collections. So also if you want to save some more room, you can now dismantle some of your exotics because they will now be stored here. Do bear in mind they do require legendary marks to actually pick up, and legendary marks you won't be able to start earning until the Taken King comes out. So I'd recommend, unless you are really tight on space, not deleting anything until next week, just in case you want to use it again and you don't actually have the marks needed to buy them. If we quickly jump into one of the helmets, you can see that the key kind of intrinsic perk for the item obviously is now in column 1, so the second I get that out, even if I haven't leveled it up, I will have access to the perk. Then if we jump over to the weapon blueprints, you can see here, for example, these are obviously all the different weapons, these are the year 2 ones, so if we jump down here, you can see the year 2 version of Last Word. I actually said in my last video that the new hand cannon that looks like the Last Word was the year 2 version of the Last Word. I was actually mistaken with that, because obviously if you see here, this is actually obviously year 2 version of Last Word, so it seems that other hand cannon is simply a new hand cannon. Really cool, but either way, these are obviously the year 2 versions, but again, we can't actually get anything out of here right now because we don't have legendary marks. Then if we run down here for a second and we swing right, this is where you'll find two of the three collections. This is where you'll find the collections for the emblems and for the shaders. So if we open up here for example, the shaders that I've dismantled but I have earned will now be found here. So you can go through your different collections, the factions, for different things like crucibles and vendors and whatnot. These are all the ones that I've actually got myself and I can grab them out anytime I want to. But if I go over here for example, these are some of the ones I have yet to do. But if I go and complete say my gunslinger quest, I will obviously get these. This will tell you exactly how to get them so you can now go through and complete them. Kind of see this as sort of like an advent calendar or something like that you actually want to tick off, which is actually really cool. I'm gonna go over here and check out the shaders as well. This is one I'm definitely keen on filling up because there are so many shaders that I want to get that I just have yet to kind of actually complete. In fact, you can actually go here and you can preview them. So if we take a look at some of these really fancy new ones, you have like the Lion Dancer, which looks so awesome. I'm not gonna go through all of them just yet. I'll do that in another video. But for the time being, that is also an option up here. And if we then run over to Eva Levante herself, she's actually not quite so useless. If we scroll down here, you'll see that as well as the kind of regular rubbish shaders, she's actually got some new ones and I imagine she's probably going to sell some new ones kind of, you know, on a daily basis or a weekly basis because there are so many more to choose from, so hopefully we'll grab them. But I'll pick these ones up for now because I haven't actually got those. I'll grab that one. And then also I'm going to grab this as well. This is a little light. It's kind of like a sort of homage to poor Dinklebot who is no longer with us, but I'm also going to grab that one while I'm here. Let's just quickly take a look at what those shaders look like because they do look pretty damn cool. First, if I whack on this one, this is called Atlantean 5055. Not too bad, not entirely sure I like the colors, but hey, that's an option. And then we also have Blue Marble. This one, this one I can deal with. This one is quite cool. I'll leave that on for now and then we'll throw in the old uh, Dinklebot emblem just to kind of remember him. So moving on from there, let's go over to the faction guys now because obviously the way that the factions work has now changed. We go and speak to this guy. You now need to pledge allegiances to factions, so I'm all about that new monarchy life. Unfortunately, I don't actually have enough money, so I'm going to need to go to the exclusion zone, but if you do want to go and pledge your allegiance, you can then do so, and you can then use material exchange to sort of grab some different things from there, and obviously you can then get packages from them to get the different things like shaders, ships, and all the different things you need to get them for. And then finally, if we move over to the Cryptarch, you can see that as well as his usual material exchange, he is also selling brand new ghosts. Now these don't actually look that fancy, you know, you've got a blue ghost or a green ghost. Personally, I prefer the ones that I've got, but these are good for different things. So you have like a relic iron sensor, or you do have something like, say, the verdant shell, which obviously detects nearby spin metal. So you can grab these if you want to, but do notice they obviously have a little bit more actual defense. So if I were to throw that on, that would increase my light stat, because light stat is now an average of your attack and defense together, and my ghost shell is currently pulling it down on three defense. Either way, those are some of the changes now present in the tower in update 2.0. That's it for the time being. If you guys did enjoy this video, then it'd be awesome if you leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are most hyped to check out in update 2.0. Either way, thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.